Hello there, my name is Carl Schneider with All Memphis, and today I'm gonna to teach you a lesson about the floss rule. Um, in order to participate, you'll just need a piece of paper and something to write with. If you need to grab those, go ahead and do so now. But for the rest of you, uh, let's go ahead and jump into our lesson. So, um, like I said, today we're gonna to talk about the floss rule. The first, The first thing I want to talk through is our oral expression. So today's prompt is one thing I can see right now is, um, and for me, one thing I can see right now is my new puppy, Franklin, who is extremely needy but very fun. I want you to take a moment now to think of one thing that you can see. Great, are you ready? I want you to share one thing you can see um, using this sentence starter, one thing I can see right now is, go ahead. Great. So now we are going to talk about phonological awareness. Phonological awareness. So today we're going to be talking about sound matching. Sound matching is where you try to match the sounds in words. We're going to start by talking about matching the beginning sounds, the first sound or beginning sound. So our first word is the word ham. What's the word? That's right, ham. And the first sound in the word ham is What's the first sound? That's right. So which of these words has the same beginning sound as the word ham? Is it hand, bee, or doll? That's right. Hand has the same sound, beginning sound as the word ham. Let's try another one. The next sound we're gonna listen for is in the word dog. What's the word? That's right, dog. Which of these pictures has the same beginning sound as the word dog? Is it pen, duck, or fox? That's right. Duck has the same beginning sound as the word dog. Great. All right, now we're gonna look at the ending sound in the word tire. What's the word? That's right. And what's the ending sound in the word tire? Very good. It's er, er. The ending sound in the word tire is er. Let's find out which of these words has the same ending sound as tire. Is it fish, duck, or fire? Very good. Fire has the same ending sound as tire, er. Oh, our last phonological awareness activity is going to be the final sound for the word bridge. What's the word? Bridge, very good. The final sound in the word bridge is j. What is it? Very good, j. These are pictures of a truck, a cage, and a rope. Which of those words has the same ending sound as bridge? Very good. Cage. Cage has the same ending sound as the word bridge. Awesome job. So now we're going to go through our card deck. We're going to go through our card deck. I'm going to say a letter name a keyword and then the sound and then give you a chance to repeat after me. You got to pay attention though because some of these letters have special rules. You, up, a. Uh. Your turn. C, cat, k. Your turn. D, dog, d. Your turn. H, hat, your turn. Awesome. L, lamp, ol. Your turn. Very good. P, pig, p. Your turn. Awesome. T, table, t. 
Your turn. Awesome. Y, yo, yo, ya. Your turn. Z, zebra, z. Your turn. Awesome. V, van, v. Your turn. And we have a rule for this word. The rule is no English word ends with a V. It must be followed by an E. Your turn. No English word ends with a V. It must be followed by an E. Awesome. Q, U, queen, Q. Your turn. Awesome, and we have a rule for this one. Q and U are always together because they are best friends. Your turn. Q and U are always together because they're best friends. Awesome. M, map, N. Mm. Your turn. Awesome. I, igloo, I. Your turn. We have a rule for this word too. No English word ends with an I. Your turn. Awesome. E, egg, eh. Your turn. Great. A, apple, ah. Eh. Your turn. Great. B, ball, b. Your turn. Great. F, fish, f. Your turn. Awesome. J, jar, j. Your turn. We have a rule for this word too. No English word ends with a J. Your turn. Great. N, nest, n. Your turn. R, rat, er. Your turn. Good job. Er almost sounds like a growl. W, wagon, w. Your turn. Great. X, box, x. Your turn. Great. S, snake, s. Your turn. O, ox, ah. Your turn. K, kite, k. Your turn. Very good. G, goat, g. Your turn. W, H, whistle, w. Your turn. T, H, thumb, th. Your turn. And we have a second sound for this word. It also says T, H, this, th. Your turn. Th. It should kind of tickle your throat, maybe even your nose a little bit. S, H, ship, sh. Your turn. Great. C-H, chair, ch, your turn. Great. We just learned this one in our last lesson. Suffix S means more than one. Your turn. Suffix S means more than one. Awesome. Now we're going to look at um, some letters that we put together so we can uh, remember them in our brain. Ink like bank at the end of a word. Pink. Ink like bank at the end of a word. Your turn. Ink like sink at the end of a word. Onk like honk at the end of a word. Unk like chunk at the end of a word. Ang like sang at the end of a word. Ing like sing at the end of a word. Ong like song at the end of a word. Ung like sung at the end of a word. Awesome. Now we're going to learn a sight word. A sight word is a word that you should know when you see. That you should know when you see. Very good. This is the word around. What's the word? Around. Very good. I want you to repeat 
this word while tracing the arrow three times on your own. What's the word? That's right, around. Great. Now we are going to read some words, but the first thing that we need to do in order to read them is to write them down on our piece of paper. Go ahead and write down this word. Write down this word. Make sure you're using your neat handwriting. Write down this word. Write down this word. Write down this word. And last but not least, write down this word. If you need a little more time, feel free to pause the video now. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is annotate our words. We're gonna annotate our words. Now that we've written them down, the first thing we want to do is underline the vowel or letters that make the vowel sounds. These words are a little bit tricky because they all end in NG or NK. Those letters take the vowel in front of them and make the whole vowel sound, sometimes even changing the sound of the vowel. Let's do the first one together. In this word, what would the um what would the vowel sound be that's right ink very good now you go ahead and try to identify the vowels including the final ng or nk on the rest of the word go ahead and do that now Great, you can pause the video if you need a little bit more time, but we're gonna keep on trucking along. I'm gonna underline ing, ung, ink, ank, and unk. The next thing we need to do is circle any digraphs. Digraphs are letters like SH that come together and only make one sound. Do we see any digraphs on this particular list of words? You're right, I don't see any either. So the next thing we're gonna do is box our blends. I see one blend on this um, sheet. Who can help me find it? That's right. S and W coming together is a blend. Now I'm going to circle the word and I want you to read it together. Ready, set, go. Very good. I'm gonna read the top row, and then I want you to read them as fast as you can. Wink, swing, lung. Your turn. <laughs> Wink, swing, lung. Your turn. <laughs> wow, you read those so fast. Now let's look at the bottom row. Pink, bank, junk. Your turn. Awesome, now read the, the bottom row as fast as you can. All right, I'm gonna read them as fast as I can and then I want you to try to beat me, okay? Wink, swing, lung, pink, bank, junk. Your turn. Awesome job. So now, uh-oh, let me go ahead and um, erase the annotations. Great, so now we're gonna do our auditory drills. This is where I give a sound, you repeat, and then you're gonna write down the sound on your own piece of paper. Make sense? All right. The first sound I want you to write is ah, ah. Write the letter that says ah. 
And while you write it, I want you to think and say to yourself the um, keyword, letter, and sound that says ah. So we'll do the first one together. We're gonna do the first one together. We have O, Ox, Ah. Very good. The next uh, letter I want you to write is the letter that says G. What's the letter? What's the sound? Very good, G. Awesome, so we should all have G, goat, G, written down on our papers. The next sound, the next um, letter I want you to write down has the sound f. Go ahead and write the letter that says f. What's the sound? Very good. F, fish, Great job. The next sound I want you to write says ooh, ooh. What's the sound? Very good. Go ahead and write it on your paper. Awesome. And it should say L, lamp, ooh. Your turn. Great. The next sound I want you to write is woo, woo. Your turn. Very good. Go ahead and write the letter that says wu on your paper. Awesome. So everyone should have written W wagon wu. Awesome. Next, I want you to write the letter that says er, that growl we like. Er. What letter says er? Repeat after me. Er. Great job. Awesome, so you should have written R, rat, er. Great, the next uh, letter I want you to write is the letter that says I, I. What's the letter, what's the sound? That's right, I. So everyone should be writing I, igloo, I. Very good. The next um, letter I want you to write makes the sound eh, eh. What's the sound? That's right, eh. So everyone should be writing e, egg, eh. Very good. The next sound I want you to write says k, as in kite. It's a tricky one because there are two ways, there's more than two ways to write the sound k, but this is k as in kite. What's the sound? That's right, k as in kite. So we should all be writing k, kite, k. Very good. Next, I want you to write the letter that says s. What does it say? That's right. Go ahead and write it on your paper right now. Awesome, so you should see S, snake, S. Wonderful, and we have one letter left. This is the letter that says B. What does it say? That's right, B. Go ahead and write the letter that says B on your paper right now. Very good, so everyone should be writing B, ball, B. Very good. All right, now we're gonna spell some words. We're gonna spell some Words, very good. I'm gonna say a word, you'll repeat after me, and then we'll break it into the parts of the word. My turn, sank. Your turn, that's right, sank. Now I'm gonna help you break this part of the word apart. S, 
ANK. If you remember, A and K all come together uh, to make one sound. So we have S ANK. Um, so only two sounds, but we know that the second sound is made up by more than just one letter. So we're going to write our word now. A -k. sink. Very good. Let's try another one. This word is honk. What's the word? That's right. Honk. Uh, let's segment it together. <sighs> Very good. Again, we only have two sounds, but are we going to have two letters? No. Go ahead and write the word honk on your paper now. All right. You should have written. Ah, uh, mm, k, honk. Very good. All right, the next word we're going to spell is the word pink. What's the word? That's right, pink. Let's finger spell it together. P, ink. Remember, the last sound is going to be working together to make our vowel sound and our ending sound. P, ink. Go ahead and write the word pink on your paper now. Very good. So you should have written P I N K pink. Very good. The next word is think. What's the word? That's right, think. Let's finger segment it together. Th ink. Go ahead and write the word think on your paper now. Very good. Think is spelled. Very good. Pink is spelled, think is spelled T H I N K, think. Very good. The next word we're going to spell is junk. What's the word? That's right, junk. I'm going to give you a chance to finger segment this on your own. You should have said j unk. We know that uh, letter sounds where a vowel is attached to NG and NK are going to be chunked together. So we have j unk. Very good. Go ahead and write that on your paper now. All right. You should have written J U N K. Junk. Awesome job. All right, you all did an excellent job spelling these words. Now we are going to learn about the floss rule. The what rule? Now I can't floss, but I'm sure some of you can. So if you want to take a quick floss break, I encourage it. But we are going to learn about the spelling rule called the floss rule, and we're going to learn about it by looking at some words that follow the floss rule. Again, please floss because you know I can't. All right, we're going to look at these words. Let's look at the words in the first row. What do we notice about these words? Are they long or short? Very good. These are short words. What do we notice next? What do we notice about the end? Yeah, they all have double letters at the end. We're gonna um, just make a note of those double letters at the end. Sorry, but guys, just still getting used to this format. 
Give me a quick second. Okay, great. So I think, awesome. So let's um, underline all of the double letters in the first row. I see two Fs here, two Ls here, and two S's here. What about these? Are these all short words or long words? You're right, they are also short words. And what do we notice about the end of these words? Oh my goodness, double F, double L, double S. Very, very good. Um, what do we notice about these last ones? Are they short words or long words? Very good, they are also short words. And what do we notice about the ending? Again, we have that double F, we have the double L, and the double S. So, repeat after me. The floss rule is, the floss rule is, that we double the letters F, L, or S, at the end of short words after a short vowel. So the word floss actually follows the floss rule, right? We double the S at the end because it's a short word with a short vowel. You all are doing an awesome job so far. So this is the floss rule. All right, so the next thing that we do anytime we're reading words are an is annotate the words. So the first thing we need to do, who can remember from earlier, we are going to, you know what, thanks y'all, good memory. The first thing that we actually need to do is trace the, write these words down on our own piece of paper. So let's go ahead and write this one. Awesome. We're gonna go ahead and write this one next. Very good. We'll go ahead and write this one. We will write this one. We're gonna write this one. Great job, this one. Awesome, this one. Next. Go ahead and write our final word. And if you need a little more time, no worries, just hit that pause button. Great, so the next thing that we're gonna do is box consonant blends. We're gonna box consonant blends. So I want us to look for any time we have two consonants next to each other. Do we have any in the first row? I don't see any either. What about the second row? Very good. S and T are a consonant blend. What about in this word? Who can tell me what the blend is in this word? Very good. S and P are a consonant blend. What about in the third row? Do we see any? Nope, just kidding, we do. Where do we see those consonant blends? Very good, I see another ST right here. And in this word, I see a G and an R together, which are another consonant blend. Awesome job. Now we're gonna circle our digraphs. Does anybody see any digraphs? Me neither. Very, very good. So now it's your turn. Now it's time to read these words. We're gonna read these words. So I'm gonna clap it on the third clap. You'll read the word. Very good, you should have read all those words. Now, I'll read it and you can repeat after me to make sure that we got them all correct. Cuff, pill, mess, staff, spell, toss, stuff, doll, and grass. Great job, now let's try to read the first row as fast as we can. You start. Very good, cuff, pill, mess. All right, let's do the next line. You start, read them as fast as you can. Very good, staff, spell, toss. Awesome, in that final row, let's get it started. Stuff, doll, grass. You all did an awesome job. Go ahead and read all of these words one more time in your um, strongest voice and as fast as you can.
Awesome. Cuff, pill, mess, staff, spell, toss, stuff, doll, grass. Awesome. I bet you all were even faster than me. All right, let's keep it moving. Now we're going to spell some words. And um, I want you to remember that we're gonna spell words that follow the floss rule. The what rule? The floss rule. Again, can't do it. I hope you're doing it for me. Um, so the first word we're gonna write is a kind of a silly word. Say, uh-oh. Yeah, this word is kiss. What's the word? That's right, it's kiss. Let's finger spell it together. It's very good. So we're gonna do this first one together. Um, I'm gonna get my pencil ready. It's all done? No, because we're following the floss rule. This is a short word with a short vowel and it ends with the letter S, so we have to what? That's right, double the S. Sorry, y'all. Double the S. Awesome. So you're going to do the next one on your own. This word is off. What's the word? That's right, off. Let's uh, finger spell it together. Very good. Now go ahead and write the word off on your paper right now. Great, so you should have written O, ox, ah, but because of the floss rule, we know we need what? Very good, two Fs. Great, the next word is will. What's the word? That's right, will. Let's finger spell it together. Very good, the word is will. I'm gonna take a moment to, um, to let you write it on your paper. Great, so you should have written W wagon woo, I igloo i ol. And because of the floss rule, we need what? That's right, two L's at the end. The final word I'm gonna have you do all on your own with no reminders. The word is pass. What's the word? That's right, pass. Go ahead and let's finger spell it together. Very good. Now go ahead and write the word pass on your paper right now. Awesome. So all of our papers should look like this. Great job. And who can remind me, what is the floss roll? We double the, that's right, F, L, or S at the end of a short word, very good, after a short vowel. Awesome job. Let's keep our learning going. All right, so we're gonna learn two other sight words today, but we call these learned words because we want to be able to spell these words. This is the word none. What's the word? None is an unfair word because O says ah, and the E is silent, so we can't sound it out, so we just have to learn it. This is the word none. What's the word? Very good. Let's go ahead and say the, the names of the letters in this word. N O N E none. Very good. Now I want you to go ahead on your paper and spell the word none three times, saying the names of the letters out loud. N O N E none. Very good. Go ahead and do that two more times. Awesome, you should have written the word none three times. Now close your eyes. How do you spell the word none? N-O-N-E, none. All right, 
Close your eyes one more time, no peeking, and I want to hear you say it. Very good. N-O-N-E, none. Wonderful. We have another exciting word to learn. I'm going to clear out the last word. This word is pull. What's the word? That's right, pull. This word is unfair because you says uh like up, but it, this word isn't pull, it's pull. So we are going to do the same thing. I want um, you to repeat after me. P-U-L-L, -L, pull. Your turn. Awesome. Now I want you to write down the, uh, the, the word three times while repeating the names of the letters like this. P, U, L, L, pull. Very good. Do that two more times. All right, now cover your eyes. How do we spell the word? That's right, P-U-L-L, -L, pull. Awesome job. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is actually write some sentences. This is really exciting because I'm gonna say a sentence out loud and then you'll get a chance to write it down on your piece of paper. So, um, the first, uh, the first sentence we're going to do is, none will kiss the frog. But I want you to write the first phrase first. None will kiss. What are you writing? Very good. None will kiss. Go ahead and write that on your paper right now. Make sure your sentence starts with a capital letter. Make sure that you have um, correct understanding, which means the sentence makes sense. Make sure that you are using punctuation at the end and always double check for spelling. None will kiss. Awesome, your paper should look like mine so far. The final phrase is the frog. What's the final phrase? Very good, the frog. Go ahead and write the frog on your paper right now. So your paper should look like mine. None will kiss the frog. Notice that our sentence um, begins with a capital letter. You see that capital N is here and it ends with a period. We always end our sentence with that punctuation mark. Wonderful, let's do another one. The next sentence is, pull the dog off the bed. The first phrase is, pull the dog. Write pull the dog now. What are you gonna write? Pull the dog. What? Very good. So, I should see this on your paper so far. Pull the dog. The last phrase is off the bed. Off the bed. What is it? That's right, off of the bed. So your paper should look like mine. Remember, we have our capital letters there as well as our punctuation marks. Now we're gonna do a little extension activity. In sentence one, read me the word that is an animal. That's right, a frog is an animal. In sentence two, read me this word, b, e, d. What's the word? That's right, bed. In sentence one, read me the word that rhymes with miss. That's right, kiss. And in sentence two, complete this analogy. Up is to down as on is to, that's right, off. 
Up is to down as on is to off. Very good. All right. All right. For our last activity of the day, we are going to do oral reading. This is where we read words and sentences. So the first thing I wanna do is let's find any words in sentence one that follow the floss rule. The floss rule. Does anybody see a word in here that follows the floss rule? I see two. This word follows the floss rule and this word follows the floss rule. I also see one unfair word that I'm gonna say so that we can all read it as best we can. This is the word is. What's the word? That's right, is. Go ahead and take a moment to read this sentence out loud. Very good, you should have said, that stuff is a mess. I read it with enthusiasm because it has an exclamation point. Sentence number two. Let's start by finding all of the words that follow that floss rule. I see two. This is the first one. This is the second one. Great, now we're gonna underline and talk about these unfair words. This is the word the. What's the word? That's right, the. This is the word to. What's the word? That's right, two. This is the word, the. What's the word? That's right, the. Now I want you to go ahead and take a moment to read this sentence out loud. Wonderful, you should have read, bring the drill to the boss. Great, let's take a look at sentence number three. What sentence? Yep, number three. So we're gonna start like we have been by going over our floss words. I see one floss word in this sentence, this word right here. Awesome, now I want us to underline the words that we may not um, be able to sound out. This is the word the, what's the word? Very good, the. This is the word is, what's the word? That's right, is. This is the word the, what's the word? That's right, the. Go ahead and read this sentence now. Great, you should have read, the brass chest is on the bunk. Great job. Let's take a look at sentence number four. All right, do we see any words that follow the floss rule in this sentence? Very good. This word follows the floss rule. Now let's underline those unfair words and then make sure we can read our sentence. This is the word was. What's the word? That's right, was. This is the word to. What's the word? That's right, two. This is the word the. What's the word? That's right, the. Go ahead and read this sentence now. You should have read, it was a thrill to sing in the spring. Awesome. Let's take a look at our last sentence. All right, I see this word follows the floss rule. And this word follows the floss rule. Awesome job. Now let's underline our new word or the words that we can't sound out. This is the word the. What's the word? That's right, the. You know what? Mr. Schneider just found another word that follows the floss rule. There we go, that's another floss word rule. Now let's find those other unfair words. 
This is the word the. What's the word? That's right, the. Go ahead and read sentence number five. Great, you should have read, the class will have a math test on the grass. Awesome job. Thanks for tuning in today and we'll see you soon.